welcome to part six of the order block strategy. So this is probably one of the most important videos that you'll need. So in this video, we're going to talk about the fundamentals of the order block strategy. So as we know, so as we know, price does not go from A to B in one straight line. Okay. If it did, then obviously it will be incredibly simple. We also know that price does not go from A to B in an easy, in, a, in an easy move like this. Oh, well, it was going easy until that last one. Okay, we know price does not create new highs and new lower, uh, new higher lows like this. Okay, price actually moves like this. Okay, when price moves like this, we struggle to identify where it, what is our highs and what is our low, okay? And I completely understand that because markets are, you know, they're not clean at all, okay? So we have two rules that you need to know in order to identify what trend you're in and to identify market structure. So <clears throat> to understand if you're in a bullish trend, okay? So the two rules... Okay, and it's the same for bearish as well, but we, I'll discuss both. So the two rules. So number one, what we need is, first we need an impulse, okay? So we're gonna focus from here. So first we need an impulse, which breaks a structural point. So this is coming from like, say either, it's either coming from up there or it's coming from down there, but it creates a structural point here. We need to break a structural point, okay, with an impulse. The part, the OB, or the uh, where the point came from that broke the structure, that's going to be your point of interest, okay? And what I mean by that is that's going to be the lower part of your range, and the impulse is going to be the upper part of your range at that point, okay? So that's going to be, in this case, for a bullish move, that's going to be your, in this situation, right, if it's coming from here, or if it's coming from up there, it doesn't matter, but that's gonna be your reference point. Okay, so number one is having the impulse that breaks a structural point. Structural point. Okay, so that happens here. Now, to confirm if price is gonna be bullish, what we need is to have a break of this structural point. So let me get rid of these lines now. Okay, so we need to have a break of this structural point. Now this break happens all the way here, right? And that is the break of the structural point. Where did that break of the structural point originate from? From here. And this is what we are gonna call our successful retrace. Um, sorry, there we go. successful retrace okay and this is what I forgot to add is number two and it what makes it successful is needs to break the impulsive structure okay because if we think about it from this one and I purposely drew it like this we have a structure break here okay we have a structure break and you originate from here but this is not irrelevant, okay? Because it didn't break the structural point that the impulse created. So this is not the successful retrace. This is a, the successful retrace which broke the structure. Now, when this happens, it makes this one our higher low. Not, not any of these, okay? So that's our higher low, and that's gonna be our new higher high. So we've got higher high, higher high and now higher low is going to be this one same way going again is if we break the structural point from here the only one that we're going to be referencing is going to be this one so now this one is going to be our higher low not any of these regardless of the breaker structure we have here okay because we've got a breaker structure here 
but this was not strong enough to break the overall structure. So this is going to be forming our range. So the range is from the structural points that break the structure. Okay, that's, that's the main thing to keep in mind. But to confirm if price is bullish, you need, you need two of the rules. You need the impulse and you need the successful retrace which breaks. If, for example, price came and broke this low, then price is not bullish. That was just a liquidity grab and prices just come back down, right? But to confirm if price is bullish, that is the break that we need. And this is the only thing that you need to remember from, from this course. And I'll, and I'll explain further why. is because our entries is pretty much based on this situation here. So let's show you a bearish example. So the bearish example, right? So the bearish example, as we know, price does not move. It does not move straight. Um, okay. So what's rule number one? We need the impulse. Okay, that breaks a structural point impulse okay so that's number one right number two we need a successful retrace where is a successful retrace in this situation which breaks this structure point okay none of these until we reach this one so that is our successful retrace right which breaks the structure point. So what does that mean? We have both rules, okay? What does that mean? Price is now bearish, right? So our reference point, right, is gonna be this one, the, uh, this one. Now, this is the point that was created, right? That's the new structure. So if you think about it from this point of view, we've got the new, we've got the lower low, we've got the lower high, we've got the lower low, what broke this structure is this one. None of these ones. That's not it. Okay, that's, this is not it. This is not it. This is not it. Is this one. So this is one is going to be our lower high. Why? Because that was the one that broke structure. That is our reference point. Okay, so in terms of OBs, the OBs are the ones, OBs are going to be existing at these points. And these are the only ones that we're going to be thinking about. Okay, when we go to look to enter. So at this point, I'm not talking about entries just yet, but I'm talking about um, trying to combine what we've learned so far in terms of structure, in terms of OBs. The OBs are at the reference point, the key reference points. Okay, OB here, OB here, OB here. Even though we've got breaks of structures going on inside these structures, inside these bits, right? These are not relevant because they did not break the key structural point, right? So the only thing you need to take away from this video is the impulse and the successful retrace. Those two things will confirm whether price is bullish or bearish, regardless of where you are in space and regardless of where you are, uh, regardless of what time frame you are looking at. But these are the only two things that you need to look for. Right. In terms of structure. So structure is something that is uh, often overlooked. And as I said, structure is so big in terms of um, you know everything that we do here because we are essentially trading structure and the structure shift. If we are looking for a bullish trend, for example, right, when we have a bullish trend, the only thing that we need to be thinking about is if these lows are being broken, okay? Forget about the highs. If these lows are being broken, that's the only thing that we need to set an alert for. Well, not alert, but that's the only thing we need to be worried about. So say, for example, this low gets broken. At this point, this is the first indication that it could be a change in trend or something. something's happening in the market. To confirm if price is going to break structure or not, if price is going to change in trend, what do we need? We need the impulse, right? And we need a successful retrace which breaks the structure. That will confirm that the bullish trend has now come to an end and price is now going bearish, right? Because if if it was, if 
Sometimes you get like a break of the low and then price continues. What we call this is a liquidity grab. And we'll speak about liquidity in the next video. But this is essentially what is happening, right? So we have one or two things that can happen. Price can just grab liquidity and go. Alternatively, price can just break the structure. And to confirm if price is going bearish or not, we need a successful retrace. That's the only question that you need to ask. So when you have the first break, that's your impulse, right? All the, the only thing that you need to look for next is your successful retrace. That will confirm that price is now gone from bullish to bearish. Doesn't matter what time frame you look at, this is all you need to think about in terms of structure. Let's talk about a bearish move. Is that the same situation? So a bearish move, we've got new lows being formed. Right, the only thing we need to be worried about for a bearish move is the highs. We need to think, are the highs being broken? If the high gets broken, we have one or two things. Remember, it could be just a liquidity grab and price can continue coming down. Alternatively, uh, we can have a change in trend. But what confirms that is the impulse and a successful retrace. So we just need to be patient. If we get a break of structure, even breaks of two structures, right? We still need to have a successful retrace to confirm that price is going to change to bullish, right? Price is not bullish at this point. Price is only bullish if we have a successful retrace which breaks structure. So essentially another break of structure, right? So as I mentioned, the two rules is so crucial because it will help you uh, when you're in, for example, say you're in the trade here, you're probably panicking because we're breaking structure. There's nothing to be worried about until we break structure again because price can just grab liquidity from both highs or even the, even the third high and then continue down. We don't know until the next thing happens. So just bear that in mind. When this happens, you form a range, remember, from what's being created. So you're waiting for that range to be broken either way. If the range is broken to the upside, then yes, price is going bullish. If range is broken to the downside, then price is going to continue. That was a liquidity grab and we could probably look for another entry. But we'll speak about entries later on. So from this video, the only thing that you need to understand is uh, is the two rules. Okay, the two rules which are uh, the two rules is number one, you need the impulse, and number two, you need the successful retrace. Now on our on our charts, we might use SR for the successful retrace, and we might use IM for the impulse and this is going to be in the abbreviation section of the discord so just bear that in mind but that's the they're the only two rules that you need to be worried about um in terms of structure right so now you've understood how to mark your highs and lows you've understood how to understand a break of structure and now you know how to identify what trend you are and when to think when to consider that price is starting to change in trend so what we're going to think about next is how to combine it all so far. Um, in the next video, we're going to talk about liquidity. If we think about it from a chart perspective, as you can see, price is obviously very, is very scattered, right? But if you think about it, if we draw out what is actually happening, so from, we, well, let's focus on what's happening here. So we have a structural high and we have a structural low. We have the impulse which breaks. So we create a new high, right? The low is down here. To confirm if price is bullish, we need a break of this high. So although we've got a break of structure here, is that relevant? No, because your trading range is from here to here. Okay, price needs to break that or that to determine which way price is going to go. Price broke bullish, right? So what does that confirm? That price is going to be bullish because that is now your successful retrace. So you're now your new range is from there to here, right? It's, that's essentially how you see it. For example, here again, this range was not broken until this move here, right? Is price still bullish? Yes. Why? Because we've got the we've got this would now be considered your new impulse, right? And now this this move here is your successful retrace. So price, um, that's your successful retrace. So now this is your new range. Okay. So after, for example, that's your first impulse, right? Then you have your successful retrace, which breaks. So let's do this. Let me mark it out. So that's your first impulse. Successful retrace, which breaks the structure. 
that successful retrace also now becomes your impulse. So now you create an impulsive high and a low. You need to wait for this either one of these to be broken. We broke the structure here, so now this is your successful retrace, and now you have to wait for either one of these structures to break, to either continue the trend or to break it. If it breaks the trend, then we need to wait for a successful retrace, right? We need to wait for this, okay, to confirm if price is going to be bearish. But at this point, we're still looking bullish. We've got no reason to even look for a sell at this point. Okay, so that's the only thing that you need to think about is where the impulse is, where the retrace is. That will confirm whether you are pro whether you're bullish or you're bearish. So I hope this video has cleared things up in terms of structure, and I'll see you in the next video.